Hello friends, this video on Amines part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. I have to convert benzyl chloride to phenyl to phenyl ethanamine. So I have benzyl chloride CH2Cl to 2 phenyl ethanamine. So I am with it at portion of a phenyl this is ethane amine yeah this is what I have to convert this is pretty easy actually because see if you see there is extra addition of carbon here since there is extra addition of carbon that means you have to add CN since it is a Cl I can easily replace Cl with Cn right In this react with NaCN ethanolic or KCN I'll get what CH two CN. Once I have CH two CN, what I can do is you see there's a triple bond here. I can just add hydrogen in the presence of nickel metal nickel catalyst. What will happen is this triple bond will break. Let me draw it clearly for you. Yeah, this triple bond will break, and you get CH two is intact. And this hydrogen will be added here and here. Correct? And this is what I was looking for. The next is chlorobenzene to para chloroaniline. So I have my chlorobenzene to para chloroaniline. So I have a chlorine here and para portion I have to add NH2 here. See, chlorine is ortho and para dieting group. So, I can, if I do a nitration, I can get NO2 at these two positions and I can easily separate them. So, once I have Na2, I can convert it to NH2 pretty easily, right? So, let's do this. I have a chlorine. Let's do a nitration. Correct? So, what I'll get is this compound this and this I can easily separate them because they have different boiling points right because they different in intra molecular force so I can do a filtration and I can take out this on this I can just use S2 and PD catalyst this will be converted into NH2 and this is what I'll get Correct. Now we have to convert aniline to para bromoaniline. So let's see this. This is my aniline. I have to convert to para bromoaniline. See, NH2 is a very strong group. The moment you add bromine, we'll see that bromine will be added here, here, and here. Or to and para, right? To four, six position will be added. We don't want that. So what we'll do, we'll make it weak. NH2 group, we want to make it weak by poisoning it with pyridine. This is my NH2. I'll poison this with pyridine. This is my pyridine. I'll poison this with pyridine. So what I'll get here is NHCOCH3. Correct. Now I'll add bromine. So what I'll get here is bromine added only at this position. Now I can react with the OH base or acid as per our wish. I'll get my NH2 back. So this is what we do. So if you want only bromine at one position, then we Poison this with pyridine, make it weaker, and then again get back NH2 by treating it with OH minus or H plus. Next is benzamide to tauli. It's pretty easy actually. I have this benzamide to tauli. Since anyway, if you see. 
this I can easily remove CO and I can also remove NH2 by uh, diazotization. Once I get benzene back from benzene, I can just use a fiddle craft reaction CS3Cl in the presence of ALCl3. You'll get this compound. You can try on your own, pause this video, and then see the solution. I have CONH2. I'll first remove the CO part. I'll convert this to benzene by Br2NaOH. This will become NH2. Once it is NH2, I want to make it benzene. I'll remove this NH2 part by diazotization and Na2HCl. You'll react, you'll get N2Cl. And this N2Cl, I can use ethanol or H3PO2. What will happen is I'll get this N2Cl will replace with hydrogen. So I'll get benzene. So once I have a benzene, I can react with CS3Cl in the presence of AlCl3. What will happen is this will become AlCl4 minus and CS3 plus. CS3 plus will attack this hydrogen and replace one of the hydrogen and you will get CS3 here. And this is the output. Correct. So benzamide to benzene and benzene to toilet is pretty easy. The next is aniline to benzyl alcohol. So this is my aniline. With NH2 and benzyl alcohol is this one. This with CH2OH. Let's see how can we convert this. So here also, if you want, we can first convert this into a benzene ring and then convert to benzyl alcohol. Or since there is a carbon addition required, so I can just convert into a benzene ring with the CN. And then we can do a hydrolysis to get COH. And then we can do a reduction to get CH2OH. I'll show you how. I have this aniline. I have to convert this NH2 to CN. The first thing I'll do is I'll move this diazonium salt. Na2 NA2HCl will react. So this will form N2 plus Cl minus. And this I'll react with COCN and KCN. Or if I want, I can just react with copper powder and HCN. Any of this is fine. So with this, I get CN here. So once I get CN here, right, I can do a hydrolysis and oxidation of this to get COH. I have got COH, but I want CH2OH. What I can do is I can do a reduction using, let's suppose, LiAlH4. So what I get here is CH2OH. So if you watched my previous videos, then these Reactions will be easy for you. If you want to watch the reaction mechanism, you can watch my previous videos where we explain the reaction mechanism of these kind of conversions. We have to complete these reactions. So, miss, this is ethyl iodide. When you react with NaCN, iodine is a good leaving group. So, iodine will, CN will replace this iodine here. Correct? So, what will happen is what you will get A is. CH3, CH2, and here you get CN, that is propane nitride. Now, if you do a partial hydrolysis, what will happen? The CH2 will be converted to COO for partial hydrolysis. This is what you'll go out, get, right? CH3, CON, that will be ethanamide. Now, you are reacting with NaOH and Br2, what will happen is CH3C Yeah, I think with this partial hydrolysis you would get C this compound CH3CH2 CN will become CONH2 That is what you should get Yeah, CN should become CONH2. Now, this, when you add NOHBR, that is Hoffman degradation, CO will go up. So this becomes CH3, CH2, NH2. And this is ethanamide. 
and this is with a propanamide. That's what the reaction should be. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.